What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit more fun and relaxed. I'm going to be going through all of my favorite beauty tips, hacks, and tricks. I have done all of these things multiple times in my life and most of them even weekly to this day. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Also, don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So if you guys want to see a bunch of my favorite beauty tips, tricks, and hacks, then just keep on watching. For the first hack, most of you guys know that I have been suffering with dry under eyes, especially with my makeup just creasing under my eyes. And my saving grace has been this Olay Eyes Illuminating Eye Cream, which I'm more than halfway done. I have been using this day in and out, and also on top of my makeup during the day if my makeup has been creasing. Taking the smallest amount, you just tap this right under your eye, and you guys can visually see that the creasing just disappears. You guys already know this is one of my favorite eye creams ever. It's just so illuminating, and it just really hydrates under my eyes. Also, I'm very excited to mention that this video is sponsored by Olay and Pantene. This next trick I learned from Desi Perkins. It is great if you have a lot of baby hairs around the front part of your face and it just looks a little bit sparse. I've had this problem my entire life. So the trick is to take some eyeshadow. I take a warm tone, a cool tone, and a lighter shade. And I just mix all three on a nice dome shape blending brush and I just lightly put it in those areas that are a little bit sparse. Make sure you go in layers, don't put a whole bunch on at first because it will look unnatural. I just kind of go in steps and build it up to the amount that I like. You can see the difference it makes, especially if you want to wear a tighter ponytail. This honestly is such an amazing trick. Now you guys know this is my favorite hack of all time. It is how you prevent oily skin throughout the day and what you do is just take any loose powder whichever one you've been loving and you just tap it into any area that is extremely oily on your face so for me that is my t-zone so around my nose my nose a little bit on my forehead and my chin this is where it gets extremely oily for me throughout the day after that just take whatever foundation you've been loving blend it out as you would and honestly i did this on my wedding day i do it for events or parties or whenever i don't want to touch up my makeup and it is a miracle worker i promise you guys you will not get oily throughout the day This next tip is one that a bunch of people already know, but I think it's so great and important, especially if you don't have the time to wash your hair. Only wash half of it because it takes half the time. So what I do is just split my hair in half and then just twist and pin away the bottom half so it doesn't get wet. And what we're going to do is just wash the top half of our hair. So a bunch of you have actually been commenting on my hair and how shiny and healthy it's been lately and the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using is the Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner. Basically what they've done with this is re-engineered the entire thing from the ground up so it's very new. With this shampoo it actually works from the inside out so it really fuels the hair with nutrients and all of that good stuff. It's so creamy and soft in your hair and as you can see I can fully run my fingers through my hair with only shampoo. Normally with conditioner you can do this step, but with this shampoo it's possible. This duo has worked wonders in my hair and it just makes my hair so soft and shiny and really strong and you guys commenting on it saying it looks good just means it's been working. Now this next hack is more of an illusion. Just like highlighting and contouring, this is kind of a little trick if you have larger dark circles. So with our brows, if we were to brush them all the way up and create a high arch, you would actually be accentuating the circle with your eye. So it would be continuous with a high arch all the way around to your dark circle. So to create an illusion where you don't really notice it as much is to create a straighter looking brow. So I just kind of brush down the second part of my brow so it looks a little bit straighter. And Honestly, this is not a fix of any dark circles. I still have to wear concealer, but it does create a little bit of an illusion. So I just fill in my brows a little bit straighter and fuller at the front, and it does kind of bring focus to your brows rather than underneath your eyes. So try this and let me know if it works for you because it is something that I have been doing whenever I didn't get enough sleep. Now this one is my biggest pet peeve, especially when I go shopping and I'm looking for a white turtleneck. 
and there's makeup all over it. It's so annoying and hard to find a white shirt that doesn't have makeup around the collar. So my little trick is to take an old shirt or a shirt that you don't mind getting a little bit of makeup on and putting it all over your head, which looks a little bit funny, and then putting your white turtleneck on on top of that take off your shirt and no makeup. This is the best trick ever. If you don't have a shirt on hand, you can use your hair if it's long enough to cover your face, just because that prevents any makeup getting onto your collar. Now to remove the shirt, do the exact same thing. Just put the shirt back on top of your head, tuck it into the white turtleneck, and then just remove it and you're good to go. No makeup on your collar and your shirt looks nice and crisp. This next hack is great if you have straighter lashes and you can't really get the curl that you want. I do advise you to be extremely careful with doing this. I've done it since high school, but please be very careful. What I do is take a blow dryer and put it on the lowest setting and medium heat. And I'm always checking on my lash curler to make sure it's not getting too warm. But what this does is basically treats your lash curler as if it was a hair curler. And it does give that extra lift and volume to your lashes. You'll see an amazing difference, but please, please be careful and be very safe while trying this. This next trick is one I use all the time whenever I have frizzy hair or there's just static and I can't get rid of it. What I do is take this Pantene air spray, which if you watch my videos is the only spray I own. It's amazing because it's an aerosol spray and it's alcohol free. So to maintain my volume with my waves, I just spray a little bit of the air spray on the brush and just lightly brush through the top layer of my hair to really tame the frizz or static or whatever you have going on. And as you can see with this air spray, it doesn't make it sticky or hard you can see that it actually makes my hair a lot shinier but it does maintain that movement and volume that I want I always do this trick whenever I put waves or curls in my hair just because it maintains my movement and shine and it looks really good now I saw this trick online before and basically it's for someone who has drier cuticles. What you do is take any lip balm and you just put it right on top of your cuticles. It's very moisturizing and it kind of works as like a balm. You can also use lip gloss if you don't have a lip balm on hand. Massage it into your cuticles and they look nice and moisturized and this is an awesome trick for winter. This next hack is great if you have shorter to medium length hair and whenever you curl it, you find it just gets even shorter, but you don't want that. So my tip is to just take your fingers first off and just run it through your curls to separate them and loosen them up so they're not as tight. You can use a brush if you want, but your fingers are handy enough and this just really softens the wave. But if you still feel like you're not getting that length, what I like to do is take a straightener and I really focus on the ends of the curls to kind of straighten them out. You won't lose the body or the wave throughout the rest of your hair but it does create a longer looking style without completely ruining the curl. You'll see that you have the length back in your hair but you still have that wave that you want. So my last tip is actually if you were flying, but I'm not on a plane here, so we're just gonna act it out. But if you were flying and you had your makeup on still and you didn't bring a cleanser and you don't wanna use the sink in the airplane, take some facial wipes. The ones I'm using here are these Olay Daily Facial Gentle Clean ones. And what I love about these is that they come dry. So you don't need to put this into the bag of liquids to go through security. You can put it in your purse, your carry-on, your pocket if you even want. So all you have to do is go to the washroom in the plane quickly wet them or if you have a facial spray you can just douse them in that I do want to mention that not only are these so great to travel with you can also use these at home on an everyday basis they do everything for you they take off your makeup they tone your skin they exfoliate your skin and what I love most is that it doesn't strip your skin of all of its natural oils your skin is left feeling supple soft and really moisturized so try these at home too and see what you think because honestly these are a great everyday product so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any beauty tips, tricks, or hacks that I haven't heard of. I would love to know because they are very helpful in times of need. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.